Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler with my second of two videos from the Baseball Card Castle's New Year's Eve celebration. So my first video showed all of my baseball themed purchases. This will show all of my football and all of my hockey themed purchases. So, you know, we got a book, we got some photos, a couple bobbleheads, uh, some pucks, a photo again, and some cards. So we got some stuff to show you here. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the football because if any of you remember watching my picture, uh, video from the 2018 National, from the National, the uh, National Sports Collectors Convention. So, yeah, I got Andy Russell on a book that I'd purchased. He opened up the book and his autograph was already in there. It was just on a different page I wasn't expecting. So I saw this book in the $10 bin. I opened it up. I'm like, oh my gosh, he signed it. So I purchased that right away. Yeah, I'm going to check and make sure, you know, the first couple pages that there's no signature from the person I'm buying a book of. But yeah, that was a nice $10 purchase right off the bat. I was really excited about that. I was excited that I got there early with my buddy there so that I could end up with that. Speaking of getting there early, you know, we get there early because the $5 and $10 bins, they're excellent. And the big thing was a lot of $5 autograph photos. So I picked up this Max Starks autograph photo. Ooh, there's some wicked glare here. Yeah, that ain't going to work too well. Let me try something a little different here. So we got the Max Starks. Got Kelvin Beecham. We got Bryant McFadden. And uh, let me, if I try to remember, I think McFadden was on both of the Steelers Super Bowl teams, 40 and 43. Sean Sweezum was, I believe he was right after all that. Now, Dan Kreider was Super Bowl 40. I don't believe he was 43, but dang, did him and Jerome Bettis, I mean, seriously, Thunder Dan. The guy's a big fullback, just battering Ram, and then he got the bust right behind him. I mean, what a, what a powerful one-two combo back when the eye formation was still strong. And then we got Tommy Gunn. This was the $10. The rest, all those other photos were $5. This was $10 Tommy Maddox photo. So, I mean, what I really like about them is, you know, a lot of these are photo file photos. So, there we go. Good start with all the football, that's for sure. Now, on to hockey. Um, I went through all these trading cards he has. They're like one for a dollar, 12 for 10, and so on, so on, and... And I uh, picked out 12 of these, and they end up just throwing them in, which is great because, I mean, these really aren't valuable. But I want to get them autographed. At least that's the plan. So I picked up some Phil Bork cards. Got some other things I'd like to get signed by Phil Bork, but still, I don't have, like, any Phil Bork cards left. I think this is... I don't have A.J. Caulfield. That's the only one I could find. I believe Bob Berry TTMs. Randy Hillier, I believe he still does, too. And I believe Troy Loney still does. So I picked up some Penguins to cards to get signed. And when I ended up getting them tossed in with all the others, that was made it really cool, actually. All right, I did pick up one $5 photo. It's this one of Steve Downey, who is a bit of a punk. Not Tom Wilson-level punk, that's for sure. But uh, I went to the signing that he had, and he was actually really nice. So I thought, well, for 5 bucks, let me go ahead and pick that up. All right, we got two bobbleheads and some hockey pucks. Let's hit the bobbleheads next. So I picked up the Kevin Stevens bobblehead and the Mark Recchi bobblehead. And, you know, instead of paying 20 bucks a piece, I ended up paying 15 bucks a piece. You know, nice sale. He does very well with his prices. But I think I can get these signed at some point. Kevin Stevens has made some appearances somewhat recently, as has Mark Recchi. He always seems to be around every now and then. So I think those would be really cool to get signed as I already have them on my Wheaties box. On to current Pittsburgh Penguins. So I purchased this one, the Brandon Tanev um, autograph hockey puck. They were 30 bucks originally, but they were on sale just for that day for $20. So I went ahead and picked up one of those as I don't have in my collection. I believe they locked him up for a long time, a pretty big contract. I think it was like five or six years, which is really a lot. And then they have drawings. They always have these drawings. So I went ahead and uh, put all my tickets. Because, you know, every 10 bucks you buy, spend, you get like a ticket for their raffle. 
So I went ahead and put all of mine in for this nice little autograph hockey lot because Baseball Card Castle did have Brandon Tanev for a signing. Well, they also had these three, and I ended up winning. I ended up winning the raffle, which is pretty sweet, actually. Uh, I put all my raffle tickets in one for one item instead of trying to like spread them out. I just figured it gives me the best chance of winning something, and I don't have autographs from you know all these guys. So we got Tristan Jari, and it's a little bit of a bummer that the autograph is smeared on here. So, in all honesty, this is probably going to end up being a donation. I mean, I, I can't really clean it up all that well. Even the uh, white on the logo there. I mean, if I get an eraser and try to do it, it's going to show. So, that's probably why this one was part of the uh, gift lot there. But that's okay. I mean, it's cool. So, that one's going to end up being a donation. Besides, this is I'm pretty sure I have a Tristan Jari autographed Pocky Puck anyway. If not, I might keep this. But that definitely would be the motivation to part ways with it. Here we have a Dominic Cahoon, and that light blue is very surprising how well that pops. So that's a cool one. I end up going to his signing as well, but this is pretty sweet. And then, I, mean, I don't have any Teddy Bluger, but I do now. So there's the Teddy Bluger autographed hockey puck. Autographed hockey puck. So, yeah, we had an autographed book. We had like four autographed hockey pucks, and uh, we had two unsigned bobbleheads, and... I'm going to guess about seven autographed photos to show you. So, yeah, that was pretty good. That was a pretty good amount that, that went here. So I wanted to show it to you. All of my football and hockey purchases from the Baseball Card Castle New Year's Eve celebration. It's been a little while since New Year's Eve. But uh, I had a, had a lot of other videos I wanted to show you as well. So hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to let me know what you liked the most. Um, give my video a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.